Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Sergeant C. Arbalati Dolpo and welcome to my tutorial. So our topic for today is all about mathematics, which is a fraction. And of course, our uh, subject matter is all about types of fraction. Okay guys, uh, before we move on to our this topic for today, uh, please uh, don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell para kung sakaling mag-upload ako ng panibagong tutorial para sa inyo is magiging updated po kayo. Okay, let's go guys. So, our topic is all about types of fraction and let us define first what is fraction. So, fraction is define as the ratio or a quotient of two numbers. Example of the fractions are 3 fifth, 4 over 11, 10 over 3, and 8 10 over 8 10. Okay, so those are the example of our fraction. And uh, our types of fractions are uh, improper, proper, and uh, mixed number. Okay, so we have a tackle first. What is fraction? Okay, so this is an example of a fraction A over B where A is numerator and B is denominator. If A is less than B, that is considered as a proper fraction. Example, 5 over 8, 7 over 11. We have 30 over 101. So, if you observe, guys, here in our example, that our numerator is less than the value of the denominator. So, kapag ganyan yung example na mababa yung value ng nasa itaas na numero kaysa sa baba, so that will be considered as the proper fraction. Okay, so tignan maigi yung halimbawa ng ating proper fraction which is 5 over 8, 7 over 11, and 30 over 101. Okay, next, what is improper fraction? So, improper fraction, if A is greater than or equal to B, that is an improper fraction. At narito ang ilan sa halimbawa ng ating improper fraction. We have 8 over 5, we have 100 over 11, and we have 30 over 30. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito guys, yung value ng nasa itaas ng bar is uh, uh, malaki kaysa doon sa value ng nasa ibaba. So, that is now the example of an improper fraction. Tandaan maigi na yung uh, value ng nasa itaas is greater than the denominator so those are the example of an improper fraction uh, we have mixed number so what is mixed number so mixed number is defined as the sum of a whole number and a fraction let's say may kasama siyang whole number and a fraction and that will be considered as the mixed number example we have 5 and 3 4 so it is also equivalent to 5 plus 3 4 so may kasamang whole number and a fraction and that will be a mixed number another one we have 11 and 5 over 7 is also equivalent to 11 plus 5 over 7 so, tandaan maigi yung halimbawa ng ating mixed number. Okay, so let's have now uh, move on to convert the following to mixed number. So, kapag nag-convert tayo ng fraction into mixed number, we are going to use the law of division. Example here, we have 8 over 5 and 11 over 2. So we are going to do first 8 over 5. How to convert uh, 8 over 5 into mixed number. 
Okay, there we go. 8 over 5 is equal to 1 and 3 fifth. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, kapag dinivide natin yung 8 by 5, so, meron lang isang 5 na makukuha natin dyan sa 8. Kaya nagkaroon siya ng 1 as a whole number. Tapos, yung excess ng uh, kinuha nating 5 is our remainder, which is 3. And we are going to write the remainder on the upper part or the numerator and rewrite the denominator which is 5. So the correct answer is 1 and 3 fifth. Okay, so sana na follow ko ninyo yung proseso natin kung paano natin i-convert yung mixed number or yung uh, fraction into mixed number. Okay, next uh so, 3 is our remainder and we have our denominator is 5. And of course, 1 there is the whole number. So, coming from 8 over 5. Okay, our next example is 11 over 2. And the solution for 11 over 2, if we convert that into mixed fraction, that would be 5 and 1 half. Of course, same process that is remainder and denominator. Okay, so how to convert a uh, fraction into improper fraction? Okay, so we have example here. Or how to convert a mixed number into improper fraction? Okay, so we have the example here. 4 and 2 third. And we have 8 and 1 fourth. Okay, so let's have the solution. We have 4 and 2 third is equal to... 14 over 3. How do we get the solution? Okay, first, on the, numer uh, on the denominator, you are going to multiply first 3 by 4. So, the, the operation used here is a multiplication. So, we have 4 times 3 is 12. Then, you are going to add the numerator plus 2. That is now become... 14 over 3. So, you are going to copy the denominator of the given problem. Okay. So, next example is 8 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 33 over 4. So, we multiply 4 by 8. So, that is 32 plus 1. That is 33 over 4. Okay, so sana po ay naintindihan po ninyo ang aking uh, ginawang tutorial para po sa ating mga estudyante na uh, elementary level and high school level para po sila ay matuto sa video. Okay, so thank you for watching and of course, more videos to come and see you again here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, you're a